Hello, hello there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick 30 minute intro to essential oils. So I call this my essential oils 101 class and it's just going to um, basically walk through the basics of using essential oils um, and then what essential oils are. So you just get a good understanding of how to use them. Um, I'm Stephanie Chan. Thanks so much again for joining. I'm a functional nutritionist and a licensed massage therapist. So a little bit about my backstory. I got started with um, essential oils um, about um, 10 years ago. Um, and I've really enjoyed using Young Living over the years. Um, I was a massage therapist for about 10 years. We ended up moving out of state, so I ultimately ended up closing my business, which was kind of a blessing in disguise just because um, I was so exhausted from overworking. Um, and I decided to take the opportunity to seek healing for my own body. Not only was I overworked, I was burnt out, stressed out. I was gaining weight. Uh, I wasn't feeling myself. My hormones were a mess. Um, and so I really got back into my oils and started, instead of using them on everyone else, I started um, doing a little bit of self-care and using some of the products to help balance me out. Um, and I don't know why I waited so long to do that because now, um, I feel so much better. And so instead of going back into, jumping back into opening a massage practice, I've decided to build, uh, Young Living because it's an awesome opportunity, uh, that they offer to be a brand partner and so, yeah, here I am feeling a lot more balanced um, and I'm happy that I get to be home and homeschool my daughter so I can be that stay-at-home mom and still have a side business. So, um, a little disclaimer here. Um, I am not a doctor, um, so therefore I cannot legally diagnose, treat, prescribe, or cure so the focus will not be on ailments, sickness, or disease today. Rather, we're going to just talk about how to support your body systems um, and how to keep us healthy. So I'm happy to share any resources um, with any of you. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I love working with people. I love helping people. That's something that um, I'm very passionate about. Um, so reach out to me if there's any um, questions that you have after this um, this class. Okay, now for the fun stuff. So what are Young Living Essential Oils? So essential oils are the lifeblood of the plant. They have the ability to heal, restore, and protect the plant, acting as its natural defense mechanism. So that's kind of like... When grass is cut, it regrows back even stronger. Just like cut your hair, your hair regrows into um, beautiful long lengths without the split ends. Um, so our bodies kind of respond the same way that plants do, uh, and they help us at a cellular level. Essential oils come from trees shrubs, leaves, grasses, resins, and flowers. So rose petals um, rub between your fingers or that's the essential, that's how they're getting the oil from rose petals. So yes, we do need a lot of rose petals um, for just a small little um, five milliliter bottle or things like citrus, um, those are using the peel on the citrus fruits. So these leave a very nice residue, which is called the essential oil. Now these oils are then pulled from the plant through steam distillation, or they're cold pressed from the rinds of the fruit. So these oils are actually greaseless, unlike, you know, the canola, olive, coconut oils in your home. 
and they are also super concentrated. So for example, it takes 27 square feet of lavender just to make one 15 milliliter bottle of lavender oil, and it takes 75 lemons to make one 15 milliliter bottle of lemon oil. We only need one to three drops per use, and one drop can penetrate every cell in your body in a matter of minutes. That's how powerful uh, these oils are, and that's what we mean um, by they are working on a cellular level. As soon as you, say, rub one drop on the bottom of your feet, within minutes, it's touched every cell in your body. It's affected every cell in your body. That's pretty awesome, I think. Um, essential oils have been around for thousands of years. They're mentioned in the Bible over a thousand times, and we've also seen them in hieroglyphics on the Egyptian cave walls. A fun fact, Egyptians have the oldest recorded deodorant recipe using essential oils, and that's on my to-do list. I actually uh, want to use some purification on um, in my own DIY because I have very sensitive underarms, so that's pretty fun. Okay, now for the science. So essential oils penetrate our skin. They move quickly into our bloodstream and entering our cells like we just discussed. Now each cell has a cell receptor on the outside allowing toxins to filter out and good things like antioxidants to enter in. When those cell receptors become clogged, like so let's say petrochemicals or anything petroleum based, um, like lotions or makeup or BPAs uh, in plastics, our cells become toxic and just clogged and full of junk. Essential oils act as like little scrub brushes on our cell receptors, allowing the oils to quickly move throughout our bodies and increasing the cellular communication. So like a good marriage, our cells need to properly communicate too. All right, so what is so special about Young Living? Why did I choose to use Young Living and not some other brand? Well, for one, they are the oldest, most trusted, and well-respected essential oil company in the world. They have over 25 plus years of experience. Not all essential oils are created equal. Many store-bought oils have been produced with pesticides or extracted using chemicals. So these chemicals um, help these crops yield more essential oils. So... Um, that is all about profit. Well, Young Living is not about um, profit over quality. So they actually don't use any pesticides or herbicides. They use uh, their own essential oils to treat um, their, their crops, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, Young Living has that seed to seal guarantee. So each plant is hand weeded. Like I said, there's no pesticides used, no chemicals, no weed killers. They make only therapeutic grade oils. So basically you're getting the cream of the crop. I personally have tried at least three different essential oil companies in the past and nothing comes close to the quality of using Young Living essential oils. You can tell in the way it smells, you can tell in like the lack of how it feels in your in your body when you put it on as well. So essential oils are not regulated by the FDA, so it's important to know the practices of the company that you're choosing. That's why I love the transparency of Young Living. Uh, members can actually visit the Young Living Farms to be a part of the harvest and replanting each year. If you'd like to learn more about the seed to seal process, you can visit seedtoseal.com. So how do we use essential oils? There's three ways basically to use essential oils. The first way is topically. So essential oils are absorbed by our skin 
which is the largest organ of the body. In fact, the bottoms of our feet have over 2,000 pores and some of the largest pores on our body. It's a great way to get essential oils to absorb rapidly into our body or to apply an oil that uh, you may not like the smell, but you know that you need to use it. So for example, um, Digize doesn't really smell the greatest, but if you're having stomach issues, um, that one is a great one to put on your feet and to have that immediate relief. Two ways you can use them topically is neat, which is just directly on your skin, or you can dilute it with the carrier oil like jojoba, um, almond oil, or coconut oil, or something like grapeseed. Um, carrier oils like uh, um, are usually fatty oils, like I just was saying, like coconut or grapeseed, and they help to dilute essential oil, making it easier to apply to a larger surface area of your skin, like your back or your legs. Using a carrier oil also helps to temper these hot oils. So hot oils would be like peppermint, oregano, uh, cinnamon, or thyme. Those can feel kind of burning on the skin, so I like to use uh, carrier oils with those. Uh, diluting does not reduce the effectiveness of these essential oils. Instead, it acts more like this time release. I typically recommend diluting on children and yourself until you know how your skin will handle an oil because everybody is so different. So di um, diluting or using a carrier oil also helps to stretch your essential oils and your dollar. So usually um, I have about five sets of rollers and I put a few drops in there um, and I fill the rest up with a carrier oil and I just put those on throughout the day. So it's just a great way to use your oils regularly. Um, uh, without you know using one drop every day okay scent so scents what next we're going to talk about um, inhalation so the second way you can use uh, essential oils is through inhalation and we know that scents are powerful and they are the fastest way to reach the mood center um, the limbic system in your body and that is through breathing and through your nose so in less than a second, essential oils hit our limbic system where the emotions are housed and they have a very powerful effect on our mood. Most American homes have some kind of synthetic air freshener like plug-ins, aerosol sprays, and candles. These contain chemicals like formaldehyde, which is known as a class one carcinogen, and they have been linked to cancer and other health issues. So I recently started getting really bad headaches from using candles and I just said, forget it, it's not worth it. Um, I've thrown out my candles and now I just diffuse every day. So using oils in a diffuser or a spray bottle with water and witch hazel to replace these synthetic air fresheners in the home is a great way to save money and to help get rid of the chemicals and keep the toxins out of your home and on your, your skin. So the benefits of diffusing, um, they're non-toxic, it's mood enhancing, it helps purify their air, it helps with sleep and allows you to create your own scents to affect an entire room. Okay, the third way to use essential oils is internally. So I want to start by saying I would never recommend ingesting oils outside of Young Living. A majority of the oils produced outside Young Living are either adulterated, contain chemical solvents, or are flat out synthetic, and this is super dangerous to ingest. Thankfully, ours are pure and safe to ingest. In fact, Young Living has a whole line of oils for internal use. They actually have white labels and they're called the Vitality line. Um, so they have a, a white label. These oils uh, label for internal use. The white label are actually the same oil um, as their counterparts with the colored labels for topical use. The only difference is just the label and it's just to let you know that this is safe oil 
to ingest. So I like to add um, a drop of either grapefruit or citrus fresh to my water. In the morning, I always start with some warm water and then a drop of lemon. If um, I'm having a sore throat or I feel like I'm biting something, I will actually put one to two drops of thieves on a spoonful of honey and just take that internally. You can also take oils in a veggie capsule. You just add a little carrier oil um, to the veggie capsule with the essential oil to help your body absorb it better. And then also you can use it in baking and cooking. So a couple safety um, things to keep in mind. Um, you never want to put essential oils in your eyes or around your eyes. Um, you can use it around uh, your ears. Uh, what I like to do um, if I'm having an earache is actually put some drops of Melrose on a cotton ball and then I will put that in my ear and I can actually feel it working down um, my eustachian tube um, and just really helping to unclog my ear. So never in the eyes or in the ears. Um, you should also be sure to take some care to dilute oils that are hot on the skin. So if an oil ever feels hot and warm to the skin, don't use water. Instead, you're going to want to use a carrier oil to help soothe the warming in, um, sensation. And also make sure that you're never um, using water um, in your eyes. If you were to get um, essential oil in your eye, you want to make sure to flush it out um, with actually a carrier oil instead of using water because that will just exacerbate the situation. Okay, so options um, with the um, Young Living is to do a premium starter kit. Um, and this Young, so Young Living basically has over 150 plus oils and blends, and that's more than any other essential oil company out there. However, to get started, you really only need 10 to 20 for a solid foundation. So this is your premium starter kit. It is 12 of Young Living's most popular oils, plus you get to choose a diffuser of your choice. So I'm gonna go through each of the oils um, and talk a little bit about them. So first we have lavender. Lavender is considered um, the Swiss army knife of oils. So it's said that whatever your body most needs in that moment, it will actually help to balance your body and offer what it needs. So it's kind of like an adaptogenic herb. It's used for restful sleep, relaxation, healthy skin, emotional health, and it's great for kids. So if you're ever in doubt about which oil to use, use lavender. They make great bath bombs, bath salts, facial serums, pillow spray, and much more. Peppermint. So peppermint is really awesome for digestive support. One drop is actually equivalent to 26 cups of peppermint tea. So it's super concentrated. One, if you're having any sort of tummy issues, um, I like to just put one drop and then rub it um, on my stomach in a circular motion and my stomach feels better within two minutes. It's also fun to flavor foods. You can add it to a brownie batter. I've added it to hot cocoa, um, which makes for a really delicious peppermint um, hot cocoa. You can also use it for alertness, concentration, to help cool the body. I've also used it for head tension and tense muscles on the back of my neck. Lemon. So uh, lemon serves as a really great gentle detox to your body when taken internally. Uh, like I said, I like to use a drop of lemon in some warm water first thing in the morning just to help flush out my system and make my liver happy. So all of the citrus oils are cold pressed from the rind, which means you don't have to worry about any acidity that would be in the pulp. Uh, so this is not going to damage your teeth or wear the enamel out. 
You want to make sure to drink your citrus oils in stainless steel or grass, glass <laughs> as they digest these petrochemicals and can actually eat through the plastic. So they're completely safe to ingest, um, flushing out what's not supposed to be there. Um, also, it makes a great goo gone and a fresh addition to cleaners. Um, and it also helps with concentration when diffused and considered to be emotionally uplifting. Frankincense. So frankincense is um, really great for healthy skin and emotional support. Um, I like to combine this with lavender to help make a facial serum. You can also drop it under the tongue to help with feelings of anxiousness um, and apply topically to diffuse to help feeling grounded and relaxed. I also really like to use, I have a roller by my bed um, that I um, diluted with some carrier oil uh, with lavender and frankincense and it's just a really nice um, calming um, blend before bed. Okay, peace and calming. This is one of my favorite essential oils and one of the first ones I ever ordered. Uh, I actually use this quite a bit on my daughter when she was pretty young just to help with sleep um, at nighttime. So this does exactly what it says. It's a really gentle, sweet blend of ylang ylang, orange, tangerine, patchouli, and blue tansy. I like to diffuse it for a calm environment. Uh, or pair it with lavender for a really good night's sleep. Uh, you can apply it to the bottoms of your feet before bed or with a carrier oil as a calming back massage. Thieves. Okay, so Thieves is a blend of cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, and lemon. This is great for all things immunity. This is the best oil to have during the winter months. Um, I am never without it. I constantly have thieves in my house. Uh, you can take it internally on a spoonful of honey in a capsule. You can add it to a tea. You can add it to the diffuser or apply it topically. Just make sure that you use it. I actually use mine twice a day. It's in a roller and I just roll it on the bottoms of my feet, especially during um, cold season. So aside from this oil, I highly recommend Thieves Household Cleaner. It's a non-toxic concentrate and one bottle can easily last you three to four months. Plus, you can replace all the toxic cleaners under your kitchen sink with this one product. Okay, so Digize. Digize is a blend with fennel, anise, ginger, tarragon, peppermint. This is for all things tummy and bathroom support. You can use this with peppermint alone um, when that peppermint isn't enough for um, digestive support. You can drop it under your tongue, pop it in a veggie capsule, or apply it over your belly or on the bottoms of your feet. So um, yeah, my daughter had a really bad stomach ache and we actually applied a drop of this on her um, stomach and within five minutes it was gone. So I cannot say enough about Digize. It's amazing. Valor is a really amazing emotionally grounding combo of spruce, geranium, blue tansy, and frankincense. It's one of the most popular blends and is known as courage in a bottle as it helps to promote feelings of bravery. So you can apply it before an important meeting, if you're giving a speech to your kids before school, uh, anytime you just need a little bit of extra courage. Uh, I like to apply it along the spine to help with uh, spinal alignment and on the bottoms of um, big toes for any pesky snoring. Raven. So Raven is another um, awesome blend. <clears throat> it has Raven Sara, lemon, wintergreen, peppermint, and eucalyptus, eucalyptus radiate. Yeah. This is really awesome for uh, comfort during winter months. It makes an amazing DIY chest rub when you mix it with coconut oil, 
um, for easy breathing. I like to diffuse this if we're having any issues. I also like to nebulize this if I've got um, a really bad cold that I'm fighting. It's also really great to apply prior to a workout to really help open the lungs um, and especially at night when you have that congestion. Piano Way is a blend of wintergreen, helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. This is an awesome blend for um, someone with tired muscles, achy joints, um, and, and even head tension. I also put this one in a uh, roll-on, and anytime I just feel like a lot of stress in my shoulders and in my neck, I will apply that on my shoulders, and then I'll go put a heat pack uh, on my neck and it just really helps to like literally melt away all of the tension. It's amazing. Um, if you're someone that stands all day, this is an amazing oil to rub on the bottom of your tired feet as well. It's also really, um, best to dilute this one with a carrier oil because the wintergreen and the clove and that peppermint can feel kind of hot. Citrus Fresh. So I like to use this in my water. It's a really nice blend of orange, grapefruit, mandarin, tangerine, lemon, and spearmint. Um, it also helps to neutralize odors and purifies the air. I have a rainbow vacuum, so I actually like to put a couple drops of this in my rainbow, and it makes my carpets in my house just smell really fresh and amazing. Um, it really is great at um, uplifting. So if you like to diffuse, um, it helps uplift and brighten a room. It makes an excellent DIY room spray and helps to freshen up any space. You can use it in the laundry room. Uh, use a couple drops on dryer balls for a really natural scent or just add a couple drops in water for a gentle detox um, to flavor your drink. Stress Away. That's a blend of lime, vanilla, copaiba, and cedarwood. This is great for everyday stressors, emotional support, restful sleep, and concentration. It's excellent in the diffuser and at the end of a long day paired with lavender. I love the way this smells. I it literally, every time I smell it, um... I just feel my stress melting away. I really like to keep this in my car um, because I tend to get kind of stressed in my cars um, with, you know, crazy people driving around. I don't know if that's you, but um, I just put a little bit of this on and I'm good to go. Okay, other goodies in the pack. <clears throat> so it comes with two roll-on filaments, uh, which you can actually just place on to the actual essential oil bottle. Um, it also comes with a Thieves Hand Purifier, so you little packets so you can keep them in your purse, at your desk, or in a diaper bag. It comes with a Thieves Household Cleaner, one ounce sample, which is enough for a 16 ounce spray bottle, and also a product guide. You will get two samples of Ninja Red, which is a super fruit supplement made from wolf berries, which are also known as goji berries. They're from the Ninja province of China, and they are supercharged with citrus essential oils. This really helps support all our body systems like digestion, immunity, cardiovascular system, and boosting our natural energy while supporting the cells with a healthy dose of antioxidants. I like to drink four ounces of this every single day, and I notice a huge difference in my overall health, my mood, and my energy. So I've actually been able to replace so many things in my home. Air fresheners, dryer sheets, candles, household cleaners, personal care products, etc. with Thieves Oils. It's amazing. These have easily paid for themselves when I look at different products that we've been able to swap out. So, and, and I like to think that, you know, every oil I use is a chemical that I'm not using in my house or it's not going into my body. So basically there are two different ways to order. 
you can order the premium starter kit and that is $165. So you'll receive all 12 oils needed to begin supporting your body naturally plus the diffuser and other goodies. And you'll also get 24% off the wholesale membership moving forward. So if you were to add all of this starter kit up, it would actually equal $336. Um, so this is a huge discount that you're receiving and it's well worth your money. Um, for just $160, you can get started right away using um, these oils many different ways in your home. You could also, um, another way to order is to do the premium starter kit plus the subscribe to save. And that's just a monthly wellness box program. So it's kind of like the Amazon um, subscribe. So this is just a, um, a cost-effective way to switch things out one month at a time. So you can switch out things like skincare, makeup, cleaners, baby products, supplements, toothpaste, and oils for your hormones like I do. You actually get to choose what's in your box each month, and then you will receive points to cash in for free product as well as free oils throughout your first year. You can easily cancel at any time if this isn't your jam, if you want to um, go every two months, you can do that as well. You have total control over it. But I would say hands down, this is the most effective way to change things over in your home. Um, and also you get money back from Young Living, you get points back. So it's money back in your pocket. Either way, with both options, you have the support and backing of our fabulous team, um, which I can get you connected with. It's super important to understanding the value of team when it comes to oils. Otherwise, you're just going to be left high and dry to figure things out on your own, which is not fun. I've been there. Okay, so uh, we talked about the Ninja Red. Three ways to order. Okay, so we have the good, the better, and the best. Um, you can get the basic starter kit for $35, which includes a thief spray, thief sanitizer, stress away, and ninja red samples. You can unlock 24% on off anything you want from Young Living. The better option was this premium starter kit that I just talked about, plus your choice of diffuser. Also, you'd unlock the 24 um, off discount. The best thing to do uh, would really be to do the premium starter kit and essential rewards, which is the subscribe to save. So you'll actually get 10 points back that you can use as catch, cash on future orders, plus a free bottle of order. Um, so with all three options, you can get your kit paid for. So here you can choose your diffuser. We have the Desert Mist, which is elegant and multicolored. We have the Dewdrop, the Rainstone, and the Aria. So the Aria is like the Cadillac of all diffusers. It plays music from your phone and it retails for $296. Um, but if you were to get the kit, it would be, um, with all of the oils, it would be $260. So that right there is just well worth it. The Rainstone Diffuser. Um, that is eight hours of runtime, the LED settings. It also has a negative ionizer. I have that one. I really like that one. Comes with a little remote as well. That one retails for $196, but you can actually get the this diffuser and um, the premium starter kit for just two, um, $205. And then these two are the more basic models here, the Desert Mist and the Dewdrop. Those are the basic models at $165, um, and they are really great starter options with LED settings, and those are 60% off retail. So that is um, the essential oils in a nutshell, how to get started, how to use them. If you have any questions about how to get started, um, please reach out to me. I will leave a link below where you can click on it to get started and um, order your own kit. Otherwise, I would love to hear from you. So again, thanks so much for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.